KCAL News is getting results after our exclusive investigation into traces of deadly drug residue found in Metro train stations. LA Mayor Karen Bass taking action today to make stations safer for passengers. And investigative reporter David Goldstein is here. David, you broke this story. Tell us what the mayor is now doing about it because of uh, your report. Yeah, because of our report, the mayor, the head of the Metro board, she introduced a motion today. She wants that cleaning done every day mm. if possible. All right. Now the cleanup we found has already begun. That's because we found traces of fentanyl and other deadly drugs in emergency stairways at some metro train stations. And because of our investigation, the mayor is proposing daily cleanups. And I think people are probably familiar with the situation, especially if you saw the news coverage. Citing our investigation of metro train stations littered with trash and traces of deadly drugs from the homeless, LA Mayor Karen Bass is demanding changes. We have to do more because we can't have areas that are so contaminated that it actually would be a problem. We obtained this hazard assessment report commissioned by Metro showing what was left behind after the homeless had camped out in emergency stairways at some Metro train stations. The trash you can see, but these white boxes outline what you can't see, deadly traces of fentanyl and other drugs. This is a ticking time bomb. Angelique Campen is an ER doctor who's dealt with fentanyl overdoses. According to the report, on these floors and walls at the Hollywood and Highland train station, they discovered 1.5 micrograms of fentanyl. That's almost 15,000 percent higher than what's considered safe. It takes a very small amount in your system to make you stop breathing. But we found, despite their own findings, Metro never told passengers about the dangers. You think they should tell the riders about what's going on to. behind those doors? Well, they have to. Can I get two minutes with you? At the time, Metro CEO didn't want to answer our questions. But since our investigation, Metro says all the areas have been cleaned, but not fast enough for the mayor. The cleaning and the ins inspection was not frequent enough. Bass introduced a motion to conduct daily inspections and cleaning if necessary. And to try and keep the homeless from opening these emergency doors, she wants to ensure that door alarms stay on, only to be deactivated by staff after they assess the situation. I was surprised that when we walked through the emergency area, the alarm went off for like two seconds. Yeah. And um, if there was security personnel there, they wouldn't have heard it. Now, Metro says that all the door alarms will be fully outfitted by mid-October. They say the alarm will go off up to two hours until it's deactivated by someone who will check out the situation. Now, the mayor wants an update on this cleaning process every three months. Also, another full inspection for traces of drugs sometime within the next year. Pat? All right. Good work, David. Thanks. Thank you.